the next prodigy or something for sure. So uh, here we go. They're starting off uh, Lucas versus Lucario. Definitely another two characters we don't see too much in this game. Yeah, Exo definitely on the Lucario here. Just got to get that switch. But uh, yeah, there we go. Exo on the Lucario. Lucario, a uh, whoa. Ooh. That was a super nice. call out from Rivet there. <laughs> yeah. Just going to throw out a smash attack in uh, neutral right there. So well, why not? Yeah, and the thing about both of these characters is they're they're both not too popular, you know, just in general. Um, uh, Lucas is a pretty rare breed. You see a lot more Nesses, and Ooh. Lucario, another character that's not like very popular in the meta. So oh, Uppy, oh, oh and wait, we're curving what? it right to the blast zone. Not sure what happened to Exo there, but yeah, very like unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was like definitely the ledge was straight up there, but I mean, maybe just like finger slipped or something. It, it, it can happen. Yeah, 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 definitely. Lucario's uh, recovery actually kind of like lose control with it too as well. So you kind of have to be careful when you're recovering with him. And just in general, he kind of has like uh, funky animations and how he plays in general. So definitely feel like that's part of a big reason why we don't see him too much. But um, already Ribbit actually kind of doing a good job. I was going to say maintaining uh, the stock here, but actually I'm just going to throw it out with the forward air. Yeah, Lucario getting a kill without any uh, rage slash aura. He had the, the aura in terms of being down a stock. But, uh, yeah, good stuff. Ooh. Wow, very great string. Right, fares right into the up air there. Pretty good damage here for Exo, considering he doesn't have too much aura. But yeah, actually sitting exactly, pretty much exactly even right now. And nice parry as well. Kind of just... Uh, Keeping uh, Ribbit actually doing a really good kind of keeping like space, like good spacing right now. Keeping out um, of Exo's way. Just kind of waiting for him to make the first. They're kind of patiently waiting for each other and trying to react. So actually respect the patient, to come, especially coming out from like a younger player. Oh, yeah. Surprising to see. A lot of the younger gen will want to go in. They want to hit those buttons. They want to mess you up. But Luke is definitely a character where, you know, oh, whoa, actually dodging that up smash. That was so close. Just need some. Ooh, not going to opt to go off stage here. Just going to keep on the ledge, what he's comfortable with. On the stage, you can see a back throw here. Going to be it. Close out the second stock, Ribbit. Yeah, this is really big, too. Like, closing out a Lucario stock uh, around like 120 or lower is a very, very big deal. Yeah. Because you, you just don't want to deal with Lucario with all that rage and all that aura. No, it gets really scary in that situation. Yeah, not going to be able to get the edge guard here. Lucas, a lot harder the edge guard. Um, over the other Onet brother, and but the forward smash cross stage will do it here for Exo, evening it right up. Yeah, look, it's gonna be a little scary too, especially because it's Lucario's last stock here, and uh, yeah, you're just gonna feed him all the rage and aura that he needs, and uh, Ribbit, as you can close it out the other two stocks like he was doing earlier with this last one, he'll be sitting pretty comfortably. All right. Wow, back really? air yeah. sending him forward. Getting here. up with back air and opting for that onto the stage, interesting option. Oh, going around the down smash. Great recovery coming out here from Exo. Can he get this edge guard? No. Oh, not with the run back. All right, this time going straight up. <laughs> okay, really great spacing. We see Ribbit drifting back with the uh, the side Bs there, making it very, very safe. Exo trying to get close to him and get the shield. Very meaty forward air. Oh, but pointing that uh, absorbed the wrong way there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, he was kind of throwing that out a lot and looking for it. Yeah, that PK freeze off stage is also very deadly. Oh, ooh, oh no, dodge. the spot dodge. Why wouldn't he absorb? I was expecting him to absorb. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. The fully charged oh. neutral uh, oh. be there to back air. Not going to get yeah. it, but regardless, Ribbit just kind of did not double down. Down to, Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> was dead there. And Lucas actually has a great recovery, so it, uh, a little unfortunate. Yeah, Coming maybe. Out, definitely could have lived that. Maybe he, like, uh, maybe he tried to mass jump during the neutral B. That's mm. the only thing I could think of, or just missed the jump button or something of the sorts. But uh, Or he was trying to recover with this up B animation, just kind of got too low, wasn't even opting for his, you know, double jump or right. first jump in general. So unfortunate, nevertheless, especially because Ribbit did have the lead pretty much uh, the whole game there into the last stock. So. Yep. Um, and I mean, but that's the car in a nutshell, right? Yeah. You have the lead, but sure. are you really winning? Are you really winning? Uh, it's, it's a, it's a no, tough call. Really. It is absolutely very terrifying going against, playing against Lucario in general. So you gotta wait till that golden word pops up and says "game," and then then you're good. Then then you you have defeated Lucario. But until then, Lucario is the comeback king in terms of like all just the base mechanics, right? He's got rage yeah. um, on his side, which you know every character has access to. But he also has the aura. So the more percent he is uh, like the higher percent he is or if he's down stocked he actually does more damage and knockback 
Rage will just affect knockback, but his aura actually makes him do more damage, too, which is crazy. Yeah. A very interesting character. Sure. Exactly. And, uh, you know, Ribbit, too, was definitely wanting to call some stuff out and wanted to react, but he was just kind of slightly mistiming, um, you know, his inputs. So let's see if we could see some counter adaption coming out um, from Ribbit here to take this second game. Yeah, and right now Exo is doing a really good job of avoiding all these down smashes. Uh, Revan wants to throw out a very meaty attack right by the ledge. It has like three reps, too. You got, kind of got three shots off that down smash. Yeah, but he's Exo, looking for it. <laughs> Exo is doing a really good job of kind of knowing that and just using his recovery tools to go high and up and over kind of thing. Okay, really, really nice Nair out of shield there. Okay, Exo just keeping the pressure. He really wants to set up this offstage neutral B, and you can B reverse in with the the neutral B and Ooh. then go into an aerial like that. Yeah. He actually probably wanted back air there, but he probably just got like the buffer system there. Back air would have taken it for sure. Yes. I mean, and Nair was still safe to throw out as well, and you know, still gonna apply some pressure off stage. But again, Lucas having good recovery options should be fine to make it Ooh. back, but just gonna call out with the F smash, closing the first stock. Exo uh, sitting. In a really good position right now. Yeah. Oh, and Lucario with one of the best wall jumps. That is the double jump. Is he going to? Oh, okay. he does not hit the, him out of the up B. But no double jump here for Exo. Up and over once again, that down smash. Yeah, Ribbit looking for that uh, back air spike, too. Not going to get that connection there. Would have been really nice if we did see that. But only at 40% deficit here. If he could get some type of uh, follow up after this throw here. Yeah, and another Don't great thing it. about Aura as well is your, your the hitboxes on your move Ooh. actually become larger. So it's actually a really, really good offstage situation, oh, though. No, Tries going to get the back so here. Deep. Oh, he bounces, though. Oh, oh but that's yeah. so unfortunate. You only get one bounce. Yeah, slightly misangling it there, not going to grab the ledge. Okay, now Exo. Looking rough. And now, yeah, Exo with all this rage here. Looking really scary. Still alive. Like... It, it's crazy that he can get one hit and he'll be in kill percent. Like, that's how crazy Aura is. Like, yeah. he can bear him here and he'll die. That's yeah, how does. strong Lucario is. Has all the aura in the world right now, and you can actually see it just kind of emanating off of him, looking super scary oh. again, looking for that neutral B to back air there. And there it is. We finally see Exo get the setup he's fishing for the entire game. The B reverse neutral B into the back air. And what a way to end off this game number two here for Exo. Yeah, no, that was uh, pretty nice stuff. Definitely we saw a little more um, counter adaption coming out from Exo there. Ribbit kind of struggled a little harder. We saw him start off with the lead last game, and then Exo definitely just kind of understood his opponent at that point, and uh, as we saw, just kind of uh, took it really nice.